Hello guys, good evening and welcome to Everything Metallurgy. So welcome to day 15 of 100 days, 100 concepts. So today in this video, we'll discuss about flow curve. So before moving on, I just want to inform you that we have upgraded our website. Okay, so with a more crisp look. So do go check out everythingmetallurgy.com. Right, so please let us know. Thanks for the support which you gave, which is allowing us to do the you know, uh, whatever we think and to extend our motto to help gate metallurgist. Thank you guys for that. And now today we'll look at flow curve. So what is this flow curve? Basically before knowing about flow curve, you have to know about the true values. Okay, so true values of stress and strain. Okay, so basically, what are these true stress and true strain? So we already saw something called as engineering stress and engineering strain, which I want to call engineering values. Okay, which we usually measure by taking the initial dimensions. That means the initial cross section area, the initial lengths and all the stuff. Whereas here, when we are talking about true values, we basically take instantaneous values. So what does this instantaneous values mean? So this instantaneous value is giving me the stress or strain at any particular point of time. Okay. So usually we know that if you do a tensile test or a compression test definitely you know that the area of cross section and the length right these two are the which which uh, usually affect my stress and strain correct so these will be continuously changing okay these are not constant so these are continuously changing throughout my testing time so how is my change in the stress and strain is also calculated so this is coming because of the change in area or the change in uh, the length values okay so this basically we know that uh, engineering values curve will look something like this which we already saw okay so let me take okay something like this okay where this will be my yield point over here okay whereas my true curve okay so if you talk about true stress it will be something like this okay this is giving me my sigma t and epsilon t and this curve is for engineering values what do you my mean by engineering values so usually uh, we represent sigma e or epsilon e or it's simply better to write s versus e okay so these are engineering values and the true values are like this. So this particular true curve, okay. So this particular line or graph is called as my flow curve. Okay, it is called flow curve. So basically it is always to the left of the engineering curve and always above. Why above? Because obviously the Area of cross section is decreasing and decreasing as we do any tensile test. So my stress will increase obviously, correct? So this is my flow curve and it is governed by an equation called as Holloman power curve equation. Okay, so which is also called as my power law. Okay. So what is this? So Holomon's equation or you know uh, Holomon's power curve will look something like this. Sigma t is equal to k into epsilon t power n. Okay, k into epsilon t power n. So it's it's again better to represent to be power equation only because there is another power law which comes in in other topics. So to avoid confusion, I am only writing power equation. Right. So this sigma t equal to k into epsilon t power n here you have two different terms k and n which are new so here k is usually a coefficient called strength coefficient and n is your 
strain hardening coefficient what is strain hardening we'll check out in tomorrow's video okay so k is strength coefficient and n is strain hardening coefficient usually it lies between 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 okay and uh, this n value is usually determining uh, how plastically my material has been deformed that means if i have high n value let's say n is high then this particular material can be deformed plastically for more extent without any necking okay that means without any localized reduction of area you can easily see that strain hardening region is more okay so that is for the materials which have high n values okay and of course uh, by applying log so i have this as my equation so if you just apply log so this will be log sigma t is equal to log k plus n into log of epsilon t okay so if you just try to plot this the slope of this particular line so usually it is representing i mean it is resembling y equal to mx plus c so the slope is nothing but my n okay so it will look something like this okay this is log sigma t and this is log epsilon t okay so something like this will be my curve and the slope will be n okay and my intercept will be what log k correct so this is about uh, one more form of your flow curve or holoman equation okay in uh, addition to this one thing which is important for us is how to get true values from the known engineering values so don't worry we have a derivation for that but again uh, i'm not going to discuss the derivation and all here of course it is we are keeping some content for our full video course <laughs> just kidding but yeah i'll uh, just give you the formula over here so if you want to know the derivation just join our video course which is available at everythingmetallurgy.com right so what's the formula for true stress so true stress sigma t it can be written as s into 1 plus e where s is my engineering stress and e is my engineering strain whereas similarly if you want to calculate true strain it will be equal to ln of 1 plus e okay where e is nothing but my engineering strain okay so using these two formulas we can always relate the true stress and the true strain values using my engineering stress and the engineering strain values so i hope uh, with this short video you got a slight essence of what are this flow curves and uh, true values mean to us okay basically these true curves or true stress or true strain values are obtained by taking instantaneous dimensions instantaneous values okay which are nothing but area and the length itself and calculating the stress and strain it gives us my true stress and true strain correct so this is what uh, is about uh, today's video meet you tomorrow with one more interesting concept and do check out everythingmetallurgy.com in order to grab one of the best and most affordable test series for gate metallurgy and also if one is interested to join us for complete guidance so you can always check out our video course which is obviously benefiting many people already so do check out thank you guys meet you tomorrow thanks for supporting